Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video, we are going to discuss about Coolest DAX in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's get started. Coolest returns the first expression, a scalar value that does not evaluate to blank. If all expressions evaluate blank, then blank is returned. The syntax is Coolest expression 1 comma expression 2 example is police sum of sales rate sales YTT comma 0 now let's go into the practical how it works so this is a public file in this i have two slicers and two cards one is a regular card from the table sales territory sales YTT and the next one is the measure i have written here used with the college tax function so it is college sum of sales YTT comma 0 it is similar to the if statement, but it is not equal. I will show you how. The if statement is look like this one. If the sum of sales territory table is greater than 0, then return sum of sales territory YTD or else return 0. Here in Coles, we just need to type the expression sum of sales territory YTD, comma 0. In the first expression, if this statement is blank, then automatically system will use the value the second expression if you want to use the same value in the if statement that is sales ytd sum of sales ytd is greater than zero then show the sum of sales ytd here then this both of them will work similar way but say for example if sum of sales value is greater than ytd then return example like this positive or else it will return negative Whereas we can't able to define such keywords in the college tax function. In college, we can only able to get like if this sum of sales territory is not equal to blank, then it will return this value, or else it will return blank. Even you can type the text also here. Say for example, I want to type it here as no value, and then commit. If I select North America from the selection pane it will filter the data if I select blank then it returns blank here whereas it returns no value here if the user doesn't want to show any text here instead of it they want to show the zero as a value so we can do that comma instead of no value we can use the zero so whenever there is a blank data on the first expression then it will return zero if both of the expression returns blank, then it will return blank. So coming again, if you want to check the sum of sales ytd has some value or not, if it has a value, then returns sum of sales ytd or else return zero. Then if and coalesce statement works in a similar way. Whereas if you want to do something like this, that if sum of sales ytd is greater than zero, then give positive or else give negative. These kind of expressions you can't able to use in college tax function. In college, it just said the first statement is blank, then it will go for the next statement. If not, then it will give the output of first expression itself. I hope you got a brief idea about the college tax in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.